Now, next is a river, Krishna river front. Now, there is a plan already which we have prepared for this side. On the Vijayawada side, we have already prepared a plan. But on this side, they are not able to give in detail except that high rise building parks. Now, this is what they are talking about in terms of river front for higher income group. Okay, privatizing the river front for higher income group, the which is objectionable. Okay, which the, even the AP government has subjected to this, let us not give it to them. Okay, they want to capture the value so that they can re plow back the money. But there was objection to this uh, waterfront development in terms of this. Uh, they want to create something like Venice and uh, other places, which was subjected. Then the theme parks, they want to develop the Bhavani Island as well as other islands nearby and then develop, come out with something like a theme park, which was well received for tourism purposes. The pro proposed developable area is island area is 1,000 hectares, 2,500 uh, acres. Yeah, area. this is a uh, area. So much area is there? It's so much area is there. Bhavani Island itself is so big, it's areas. not, uh, plus other, uh, yeah, plus other uh, this thing is there. Okay. Then they're also thinking in terms of guards and then high-rise building, waterfront with bund. You know, it's similar sir, to the Shanghai model. Okay. I don't know whether it will work here because our guards and <laughs> you go to Varanasi, you go to Aridwar or some other, it is different. Okay. So I don't know how this will function. Now, uh, the amphitheater and all which we suggested here, the, I have given the, the our presentation on Vijayawada friend to the Singapore team. So, they thought in terms of amphitheater and other thing, you know, I have explained to them in terms of how many cine goers are there, how to make use of that, you know, open spaces and the thing. That is one. Then, uh, they also thought in terms of island resorts, okay, Bhavani Island, some portion can be made as a resort kind of a thing. So, it's like a traditional village housing. Which they want to bring in even to the surrounding areas, villages also, rural tourism and other thing. Okay. Uh, this also they have suggested goal courses for this. I don't know whether where and all they are not yet mentioned in detail. Now, given the shortest time, whatever the Singapore team has done is a good work. They have assembled everything data and then tried to put in a new concept, a new uh, thing. Okay, that is something which is uh, really good. Within a short time, they are able to grasp the problem and grasp the various concepts and trying to put it. Now, I'll put it this way that this is a work in progress. Now, probably they had to redo, they rediscuss, take it to the people because it's a people city, a people's capital. So, we can try to project it among the people and then different stakeholders and try to see what is that concept, how whether the people accept it or not whether various stakeholders accept it or not. Uh, probably we'll have a major debate on this for, let's say, for about 15 days or 20 days, and then go back to the Singapore team and say, these are all the things, wishes of the people, and try to change whatever is possible. Otherwise, within a given short time, the regional plan as well as this plan, we need to see some more details how it is workable, okay? Some kind of implementation plan which we need so that, you know, we can comment more detail in terms of what's happening in this field and how it will affect and how it will uh, build a capital which is uh, futuristic in nature. Okay. So that's what uh, my quick reaction to this whole, this thing is. Thank you.